Hey there friend, thanks for checking in. With so many people entering the concealed carry world, I decided to make this video called Concealed Carry Must Haves. There are materials, ideas, thoughts, a mindset that would help new carriers and hopefully provide a roadmap as to what they need for everyday carry, as well as provide a refresher for those of us who have been carrying for a while. So let's go. After you get your carry permit, you go out and you buy yourself your first gun and you say, this is going to be my carry gun. And that's great. You just accomplished the first step after your carry permit. I hope that you researched it. But once you do that, I'm going to suggest that you buy another one that is smaller that you could use for pocket carry. And people call that their carry rotation. Because you will be in situations where you can't carry a, a gun appendix because your clothing won't allow it. Maybe the seasons change. Maybe you're going to a place where you, you know you have to dress up and it's not feasible to carry that gun the way you normally would. Have a pocket gun, okay? Because if not, you may not carry altogether and that's falling into a trap of not being a everyday carry person. And once that happens, people get lazy. So have a carry rotation, whether it's a pocket carry or a different type, do that, and that way you will always be armed and keeping yourself and your environment safe. I noticed that a lot of new CCW carriers purchase something like this as their holster. This is a piece of junk. You should not use this to carry a gun. Perhaps in the range bag to transport guns, you know, to protect it, it would be fine, but it offers no retention, and this clip is garbage. A good quality Kydex holster is a good way to go. Here's my Car P9 with a multi holsters, the carbon fiber look to it. When inserting it, snaps into place, and that's really what you want. Good retention. I'll roll through these really quick. Here we have a crossbreed holster with the Springfield Hellcat OSP. A non-OSP model, Springfield Hellcat, another multi-holsters. Here we have the Glock 43X with a Vetter holster. A Mitch Rosen leather holster, always a nice touch. Also very good looking with the Car PM9 Covert. Pocket carry. You know, you want that extra piece there to cover the trigger guard. Here we have a Remington RM380. And a little larger pocket carry, Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. On the larger size of things, here I've got a M&P 9 2.0 compact, all right? And then over here we've got an X-Fox holster with a Beretta PX4 Storm. Stay away from these, please, all right? And get something good. It's going to cost you some money, but well worth it. You never know when you're going to need additional rounds. You don't know if your magazine can hang up on you. And the best way to prepare for that is to carry a spare magazine. I've been carrying an extra carry mag pouch for a long time now. I really like how quickly I can retrieve it and I like the way it conceals. Here's one made for the car 9mm models. Here's another one for Springfield Hellcat. And they now make a universal model that allows you to adjust these screws. Here we have a Glock 19 mag in there, but you can adjust those screws. You can put everything from a double stack to a single stack magazine in there and it carries really nice. Now it sits in the pocket like this. It looks like a pocket knife, but all you do is, you know, take it out, take it in just like that. And it fits really snug. So extra carry works for me, but it's so important that you carry a spare magazine. One of the most overlooked items for keeping your gun safely secure to your body is a quality gun belt. And once you go with one of these, you will never use that flimsy retail belt again. But there is one here that I like more than any of them. Now, I picked this up many years ago at a gun show. It's a leather belt. It, it's okay. And here's another le leather belt made by Crossbreed. And I don't wear that one very often. Now, this is a nylon belt made by Vetter. But the best one here is a Core Essentials belt. It has this track right there that allows you to loosen or tighten the belt by using that track. And it's so easy to use. And then once you have it in place, it's nice and tight, it's thick, it's good looking. This is the best gun belt I have ever owned. Core Essentials really makes a nice gun belt and I highly recommend it. You really should carry a knife. You will use it more often than you think you will, primarily for 
utility purposes but this one i really enjoy it's made by the ridge it's a assist open it has a titanium handle and it's it's a great knife very strong if you're gonna be hiking in the woods or you want a real big fixed blade something like this is really cool all right very thin and then a safe sheath about 30 bucks will get you this Kershaw Oso oh Sweet. Okay, it's an assist open as well. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a knife. Just stay away from those cheap $10 ones that you see at the gas station. And then here's a Boker uh, Kalishnikov because that looks like an AK mag. But get a knife and carry it every day. You really should carry a flashlight. You will realize how important it is when you need one at night. You may have to identify a target, and the flashlight's going to help you do that. Now, this is a cheap little Streamlight ProTac. uses a AAA battery, and you just turn it on like that. Now, many people won't do that. They'll, they'll say, well, I have a flashlight on my phone, but how quick can you access that light? Probably will take you, you know, every bit of over 20 seconds as where this it's actually brighter, you know, if I turned the, the lights off, you'd see how bright it is. But yeah, we all have flashlights on our phone, but this really is the way to go. And there is the missus. Ammunition manufacturers produce great self-defense ammo in today's market. People ask me, though, what is the best? And I tell them, let your gun decide. Try shooting various ones which one feeds the best for you which one do you shoot the best which one is most comfortable and go with that you know you really can't go wrong but you have to shoot self-defense ammo in your carry gun so that you know that it will work when needed the one item that most people carry is their phone but i want you to think about this if you ever have to use your gun you want to be the first one to call 911 if you can if not Somebody that you know by you, hopefully, will be able to call 911. You want to give your account of the situation first. Because if you don't, and the other people make the 911 call and say that you were aggressive and you overreacted and you're a bloodthirsty maniac, the officers are going to show up and that's what they're going to expect out of you. Be the first one to call 911. In order to do so, you have to have your phone on you. I cannot stress enough the need for additional training after you get your carry permit. Now, many states require training, and a lot of people say, well, that's that's good enough. Well, actually, it's not. The additional training will not only help your mindset, your shooting proficiency, your possibly your, your state laws, but in case you ever have to use that gun, you will be seen as more of an expert if you went on to take additional training training it will help you in court the more knowledgeable you are with the certificates to prove that you completed these classes is invaluable those are my concealed carry must-haves i feel each of these are essential but let me know what you think let me know if you agree with my points or if there are any that you'd like to add because i missed them if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.